Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I am here with um, kind of like a update of what I've been going on. It's another, um, I guess, episode of my Stash Buster series. I've been thinking about changing the name to that. Um, maybe the Stash Busting Threads because it's more along the lines of what I'm doing with sometimes a thread. Um, sometimes I sew. It's rare, but I do um, crochet and knitting and I do some tatting and depending on the weather and how I'm feeling is kind of what project I pick up and where it's getting warmer now I'm going to be putting down my bulkier projects so I wanted to show you what I've been doing what I'm going to be putting away for another time um, for when it's cooler or just when I feel like working on it and some new things I'm working on. So I guess I'll start with some finished objects. Um, if you follow me on Instagram then you've seen, you, you know, you get a better update of what's going on because it's a lot easier for me to do that than to sit and make a video. Um, and I don't have the item with me because my daughter's actually wearing them. Um, I made some socks for her. They're just plain basic uh, um, vanilla socks, um, just a plain pattern with a 2x2 two two ribbing for the entire leg. She likes them to hug onto her leg so um, they don't fall down into her shoe. Um, a lot of the smaller socks will kind of sneak down into her shoe down by her toes and it like really bothers her, which I completely understand. But the first one I made are these here and they are in the Rainforest colorway. Hopefully you could see that and there's not much glare. If not, you can check out my um, Instagram account which is um, I believe it's Little Raven 1 but the link is uh, is below and also you can check in my about page on YouTube it's on there too um, and the other thing that I've done is some um, crochet flowers which probably will be a little difficult to see um, the first ones I did they're all in the same patterns but they are sparkly and I've done two of each one just so you can see, and the white, kind of almost like a iridescent, and then the other one I have done is I have done two of each of these flowers, which are the same as those, but they're in my purple and white variegated thread, and I know it's really hard to see, um, but they take quite a while, and I know some people are kind of curious as to what I use, so hold on a second, I'm going to grab my crochet hook so you can see which ones I actually do use and hopefully you can still hear me. Um, I do keep them in a case like this, a uh, boy case, and I do have more than this. This is just the set I have out right now. Um, and let me find the hook here. This is a 1.65 millimeter or a size 7. You know, it's really hard to see how fine a tip that really is, especially with the lighting, it's awful. But it is super small, you can see. And they do put a toll on your hands. And I've been using up some scraps. I keep my scrap cotton in a small baggie. I have a huge bin full of all different colors that I'm trying to use up some of these. Once these colors are gone, that's it. Um, <laughs> I have a silver that's got some metallic sparkle and some gold. It's like an ecru color with gold sparkle and the white with the iridescent shine. Those I cannot find anywhere anymore, so those are kind of limited quantities. Once that thread's gone, that's it. I won't have it no more, so if anyone's interested in maybe some of the flowers or something uh, or if I do a giveaway make sure you participate because those flowers may be in there <laughs> once um, once they're gone like I said it's gone I can't get that thread anymore um, this is a plain ecru I have tons of this and the purple variegated is an iffy thing it's really hard to find but I'm sure it's still out there because they do have other colors but um I haven't seen any recently, so that's a maybe an acre I can still get. Um, but yeah, that's what those are it for finished projects for me. Um, 
as you can see from my channel if you've been watching. I've been making a lot of cards to kind of fill up my card box and I've been drawing a lot, trying to fill up my drawing book and also practicing on my uh, tablet and doing some digital drawings. Um, I do on my blog, um, littleraven one at blogspot.com. Every once in a while I post new stuff on there, um, either a new digi item that will be up for sale or a new freebie to download. They are limited times. I only put them up. Sometimes I put them up for a week. Sometimes I put them up for a couple days. Sometimes I'll put them up for a month. It just kind of depends on, you know, how I'm feeling and <laughs> kind of what's going on. Um, so I guess for my work in project, my work in progress is I've been keeping it in the bag because I, it's been raining and it's a lot easier to tote this around than one of my uh, material bags because I don't want them to get soaking wet. And this is what I cast on actually just the other day and while I was waiting for my daughter at our first exam yesterday at her uh, college because um, we were going to go out and get do some shopping afterwards, um, I picked I was working on this I'm making another dishcloth and this is cotton and it's on a size 7 circular needles and they're just boy they're nothing you know spectacular but they do the job um, but yeah that's how much I did I got a lot more to go um, it is if anyone's interested it really all it is is seed stitch pattern and you cast on 67 stitches and just do the seed stitch as long as you want to you know just keep going until you get to the length that you want. Um, I believe there is a pattern that's close to this um, on Ravelry. It's, uh, I think it's the Fiesta dishcloth, but that's all it really is. It's a free pattern, so I'm not really giving anything away. Um, and I did alter it a little bit by the um, amount of stitches that I use, but that is it so far. And my cotton comes, I buy it by the cone, so it's quite a big cone of cotton. And when it gets so far, I'll take it off the cone so it's easier to transport. So I just rolled that up, and this is how much I have left. I'm hoping to get this finished, and I know it probably won't use all of this. I'm hoping it uses a very good amount, and only leaves me enough to do a washcloth or two. So this way I could gift them to one of my little sisters, since both of them have gone away for college and I at their own place right now. Um, let's see, another thing I'm working on is the co-op shawl, which is another free pattern on Ravelry. And I only pick this up rarely. Um, I really need a lot of concentration to work on this, although it is a super simple pattern, but it's one that you have to, you do so many stitches and then there's a pattern and then so many more st basic stitches and then the pattern and you drop stitches and if you drop it at the wrong time you can unravel the whole thing so I really gotta concentrate on that so I try to do that when I'm not too busy with anything else so this is how far I have gotten on that I need to see the pattern starting to come where the drop stitches are and then over here you can see on the back there's um, kind of like a braiding. That's the part that you unravel as you go. So as you're you're binding off along this edge. So as I get to here, a couple more rows, about 20, I think it's 25 rows, I get to here and then this one will bind off and this will have an angle decrease going down. So you work from corner to corner on this shawl, which I think is really pretty and it's fun to work on. And like I said, this is a mill end ball of yarn, so it's, um, I'm holding it two strands together. So it is kind of like a fingering weight, otherwise it would be definitely be lace weight because it is super fine yarn. But every now and then, Joann's has, um, like, I'm thinking they're, it's just shy a pound, they're 14 ounces. It's a uh, Fashion Plus mixed fibers, um, and it's got acrylic, polyester, nylon, and lana, lana in it, which um, this is completely machine washable and dryable, so it's great. It's really soft. It's got a nice texture, almost like a merino wool, 
but you can wash it and dry it. You don't have to hand wash it, so it's great for gifts. Um, and there is a lot, a lot of yarn in here. I mean, this ball will probably get me through the length of the shawl that it requires, but I'm probably going to try to make a huge one. Um, maybe put an applied border or something onto it. I'm not sure. But I have a lot here. And this, I could probably, since it is nylon, it does have stretch. I could probably even get away with making some socks out of this. So I might do that as well because I think those would be super cute. But that's another project I have. And another one that I work on um, that I actually set aside and forgot about for a while because I didn't want to um, work on my sleeves is my flax sweater. And it's gotten warmer and I'm I mean, the nights are colder where I could still get away with wearing it if I wanted to. But, I'm sure you guys, it is, the body is completely done. All I need to do is get my button gear and do the sleeves. Um, so, I did pick them up. I am using my number six Carbons needles. And I love these needles. These are my favorite. I'm going to, I only have two number six. And I just ordered, um... The sock set of the DPNs, the double pointed needles. So I'm gonna try them out and see how I like those. But uh, the fixed circulars, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to replace one by one. I'm gonna have to replace all my other knitting needles. These are the best. The joins do not hook, so you don't tear up your hands or your yarn pulling them through when you're doing your stitches. They are quite, quite pricey, but you know, for the amount that I do actually use them, I think it would be worth it. Um, but so far, like I said, I finally picked it back up, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to work on it, but I'm hoping, you know, every now and then to pick it up, do some rows. I have got a total of, about, oh, let's see, maybe four to five inches done here on the sleeve. This is where the armpit is, and it comes up, and I'm going to do full sleeves, um, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to definitely do a black ribbed cuff at the um, for the wrist, but I'm not sure if I want to make it a little longer because I do like my sleeves to come down pretty far on my hands, and I might even put a thumb hole in them. So, And I did alter the pattern. The flax sweater is a free pattern, so I'm, I'm say it's safe to give it away. Um, there is garter stitched down through the shoulder part. And it actually goes all the way through down to your wrist, but I stopped it right at the shoulder. So I have from the neck down probably about 10, 11 inches worth of garter, and then it goes right into knitting, and I it transitions really nice. So I'm liking that, and I'm looking forward to that. And I'm using um, the colorway is Panther Pink, and uh, the black colorways for those so and that is in because I got questions about that my TARDIS bag which I love and then on the inside which I think is super cool it's kind of got like all the white noise in it from like the TV screen if you watch Doctor Who that's inside the TARDIS and of course on the pole I have my little pop guy who is of course David Tennant the 10th doctor my favorite doctor <laughs> but yeah and that is a bag from the Silver Shed USA on Etsy. Etsy, she does um, all kinds of beautiful project bags. Okay, and the last project that I actually did a little bit of work on is my 10 stitch blanket. Uh, this one is the one that I showed you. It has the big egg of yarn that I rolled up to use. Well, unfortunately, that big egg is going to sit um, for a little while because I have gotten to... this size right here there you go and it's a good throw size you know pillow throw size and I plan on making this a blanket it's just not now it's starting to get warm and having this on my lap is um, it just overheats me too much so that sadly is going to be going away for a while um, until it gets a little cooler or I just get the desire to pick it back up and that's the same with my um, 
Tennyson crochet, burgundy and white, that's been set aside, so that blanket won't be worked on. I'm really thinking about making that instead of a blanket, two, um, two big throw pillows out of them. So finish the square that I'm on and make another one the same size. Well, run round smaller so this way they interlock and um, make them uh, cushions, big floor cushions. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping that I can get some more work done on those projects soon so I can show you guys. And the next thing I wanted to show you is what I'm going to call fateful threads. These are things that I want to work on that I want to cast on and I hope they turn out. Um, since I just finished a sock project, I like having socks on the go because they're perfect for this little bag. And this again is from the Silver Shed USA on Etsy and her name is Anne. She has beautiful bags. Customer service is wonderful. Um, she does do custom uh, orders. She'll let you pick like the fabric for the outside and the inside for some of her bags and stuff. And it's pretty neat. And prices are are uh, wonderful. She's got some awesome pricing. Um, this is Premier Yarn in the Wool Free Sock. And each of these are 50 gram balls. So it says it takes 100 grams. Now I have made socks that have left me with just a tiny little bit of yarn and I have made other ones that leaves me with like half the ball so I really didn't need to buy two skeins but I got two anyway only because my husband has huge feet and I plan on making him some socks and I'd like to do a different pattern on it but nothing too fancy only because he is a guy and the colorway of this is called Utah and it reminds me of like the buttes and stuff out there it's just really pretty colors and reds are his favorite so that's something that I'm looking forward to casting on hopefully soon and yeah that's pretty much all I've been up to besides keeping up with my health keeping the exercising going um, and the drawing like I said but I'm going to do that in a separate video once May is over and, and that'll be the end of the challenge um, the cards I've shown you guys I've been working on and there's another thing I started working on that's over here. I have planned on working, tried to work on a little bit more today. But um, I can give you a sneak peek of some little things that I want to have kind of made and set aside so I can gift them to some friends when things come up. But you can see, you can find the pa um, tutorials for these all over on YouTube. They're, um, the triple uh, triple pocket tea cards I believe but it's a card so it's just you know a piece by eight and a half by eleven will make your cover and then you can layer it up and inside it has three pockets in it to hold three tea bags which I thought was super cute because I'm a big tea drinker so I love to share that and I think it would be perfect especially for like get well cards and everything for when people aren't feeling so good because you could put some like lemon teas in there or whatever and these would be good for um, holidays too if you're starting your Christmas cards early you could put a wider packet maybe like two of them in there or you could probably well, I would probably do two and make them wider at the base and you could put two hot chocolate packets in there which I thought is really really cool or you could do the instant um, coffees or whatever but yeah, so many ideas. Like I said, I got a couple started. Can't wait to get to decorating them and hope to show you guys those when I'm done. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. Looking forward to getting to know you all through the comments and everything. And um, yeah, I do have uh, some more patterns coming up on my channel. It takes me quite a while to work through them because I try to knit or crochet as I go and take pictures. So it's step-by-step -step tutorials in there. So yeah, I guess come back, keep in touch, keep watching, because um, you never know when I'll throw a surprise little giveaway in there without note labeling it on the description. So I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and thanks for stopping by, guys. Mm -hmm. See you later.